Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today I decided to do a different kind of video, one that would include my subscribers a little bit more. And I did a whole face of makeup that my subscribers recommended to me. I asked you guys in the community tab to tell me what products have you tried that you love that I haven't tried. Just tell me what you love. And I just picked a whole face and it is what I have on my face right now. There are some hits, a little bit of misses, but so far it was kind of a, it was a good video. I did definitely found a lot of products that I really liked. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to join my squad. And today's post notification goes to Arely. Arely, thank you so much for having me post notifications on. I know you every time you comment on my videos. Like, I know you. I feel like we're friends. Thank you always for supporting me, commenting on all my videos, and just being part of my squad. I really, really appreciate you. So thank you. And if you guys want to be my next post notification, you know what to do. Just turn on your post notifications and comment when you are done. Anyways, if you guys want to see what products I picked out for my subscribers' recommendations, then please Please just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, let's get started. I'm so excited to do this video. I did keep this all drugstore mainly because like, I'm just gonna be honest, I can't afford to go get a full face of high-end recommendations. Like, no way. The only things I don't have because I didn't get any recommendations of these products that I hadn't already tried are eyebrows, uh, lips, and is that it? Just eyebrows and lips? Oh, and blush. That's it. Under the community tab, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a review of these products and try them out beforehand, or if y'all wanted to see first impressions. It was almost 50-50, but more people wanted first impressions. But since so many of you guys wanted a review, I decided to try to do my best to make everyone happy. So what I decided to do, and this is so last minute and it's kind of late in the day, but I'm also gonna do a wear test. It's not gonna be the longest wear test, but I figured you guys might like that as well. Alrighty, we are primed and set, and I'm really excited about this palette. So thank you to whoever um, recommended this Makeup Revolution Soap X palette. But this is what the packaging looks like. This is what the palette looks like. I love the color selection in this palette. All it says is it has 24 ultra professional eyeshadows. There is a lot of mattes. There's some pops of colors that are matte and shimmer. So yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this palette. I don't think I've ever used a Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. So with my trusty NYX blending brush, I'm first gonna go into this shade, which is kind of like a orange soda kind of shade. It's just like a peachy light orange, which looks like the perfect transition shade. Okay, I'm gonna try to pick up more on my brush. Okay, so what I'm noticing is that you really, really have to build this shade up because this took me kind of a while and I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking it so far. I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is a lot more of a dark coral kind of shade. And let's see if this does any better. Okay, this shade's automatically already better. Oh wow, this is like really pigmented. By the way, I am gonna do a halo eye because I love doing halo eyes. Okay, that, that actually, that shade was a lot nicer, so I'm quickly just gonna go back and kind of blend the edges out. And I kinda wanna speed this up because since these are all like first impressions, I don't want this video to be hella long. Now I'm gonna go into this hot pink shade right here, and I'm just gonna put it right under the pink, I mean right under the orange, just to add more color. Not really know what I'm doing right now, but I just want to do like a nice vibrant look. I kind of look like a highlighter. I look like a highlighter right now, like a bunch of highlighters. I'm gonna go into this little, it's like a pale gold shade. It's this shade right here. It looks really pretty. I didn't like cut out the halo eye or anything like that. Oh, that's really pretty. This eyeshadow feels like kind of wet. It doesn't feel like chunky or anything like that. By the way, guys, look at my nails. Remember I told you guys that I was obsessed with the Kathleen Lights Charmed Kale Polish in the shade Charmed? 
Aren't they amazing? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really crazy about this look. I feel like it looks kind of choppy. So I'm gonna darken it up and I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is like a maroon shade. And I'm just using a Morphe M330. I love this brush. And I'm just gonna start darkening it up because, I don't know, I feel like it looks super highlighter. <laughs> look. Okay, and for the um, under the brow bone, I'm just gonna mix these two matte shades. It's like a white and then like a dark beige. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyebrow. Okay, that was actually really brightening. Um, I don't know how I feel about this palette just yet. So far, it's not my favorite, but it's not bad. I feel like it's not bad once you mess around with it, but I don't know, I feel like it's not very user friendly. And the shades are pigmented, but then they kind of blend away a little bit. So I'm kind of on the fence about it. Not my favorite, like I said, but I'm gonna keep playing around with it. And um, like I said, I'll update you guys and maybe try it again in another tutorial. Um, for primer, I'm gonna be using this guy right here. This is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. Um, I'm really excited about this. It's supposed to enhance your complexion with a Hydra Touch. What? It is infused with chamomile, green tea, ginseng, root extract to create... Anyway, it's supposed to create the perfect canvas and give your skin a radiant boost. I'm assuming this is just like a hydrating primer. It's like a really watery kind of gel. Oh, wow. When I'm rubbing it, it feels more creamy. Oh, that's so... You know what this feels like? Oh my god. So when I rubbed it on my fingers, it felt like a lotion. And now that I'm rubbing it on my face, it feels like water. Like straight water. And now it's not water anymore, but it's kind of tacky. Oh my god. It smells like cologne. Oh my god, if my boyfriend smelled like this, I'd be all over that. So, so far, I actually really like this primer. I'll keep trying it out for sure because I am trying out a new foundation and, you know, trying a new primer and a new foundation is kind of hard, but I, you know, we'll just keep trying it out. So, for foundation, I'm a little nervous about this, not gonna lie, but you guys really wanted me to try out the LA Girl Pro Matte. Matte matte foundation and just the word matte scares me if you guys are new to my channel i have dry skin dry to normal um a lot of you guys said that this is just a really good foundation i got the shade light tan and it just says it's a hd definition long wear matte foundation it has more of like a warm undertone which i like so i think i'm just gonna dot it on my face and i'm gonna do one side with a sponge one side with a brush by the way, I just got my hair done, that's why it looks white, <laughs> because I always get them, like, I get it really toned, so it doesn't turn orange really fast, so that's why it looks like I have gray hairs right now, you know? Now I'm going to go in with my wet L'Oreal sponge, as you guys know, this is my favorite sponge. Wow, this looks really nice. I think this shade's actually perfect. So yeah, I'm getting like a nice little medium coverage. It's looking really nice on the skin, actually. Uh, I'm just going to go in with this little Delium Tools um, buffing brush. And I'm just going to buff the other side. Ooh, you got mail. I actually like both. Um, I, like I said, I don't really use uh, brushes, but so I would probably just use a sponge. But it looks really nice. Um, like I said, it is a medium coverage, it's not full coverage, and it already feels like it is drying. Okay, so for concealer, we're going to be trying, like I said, the Liquid Camouflage Concealer from Catrice. This is supposed to be a high coverage concealer, and I hear a lot of people rave about this, so when you guys recommended this to me, I was really excited to try it. It's also supposed to be a 12 hour wear, with, and it's waterproof. So I got the shade, where's the shade? I got the shade... 020 light beige. Um, I have a feeling it might be too light for me, but the other one Actually, this is like the darkest shade they had at Ulta. They only had like three different shades I'm hoping that there's more shades than that. It's just Ulta didn't carry more But anyway, so let's just try this out. It does have like a little doe foot applicator Of course, it's gonna be too light great. I'm just gonna go one eye at a time because I have no idea how fast this dries. 
Okay, this is actually looking not too bad. It is a little bit light for me, but it's not horrible. A good amount of product comes out on the wand. You don't have to like keep dipping it back in, which I like. Like I said, it's probably not my right shade, but it was the darkest one they had. So I figured it might be my shade, but I don't think so. I do like it, but I don't know it's, it's I don't know if it's because it's not my right shade. But, I don't know, it's not full coverage to me. It seems like everyone that raves about this concealer, they say it's full coverage. But, to me, it's like, it's a medium coverage. You guys probably can't tell because of my lights, but I can still see my under eye circles pretty, pretty good. So, I'm gonna try it out with a corrector. And I'm not, like, disappointed. I just thought it would be a little bit more high coverage. That's it. But, I'll definitely keep trying. Like I said, all these products, I will keep trying. So for setting powder, one of you guys recommended to me um, the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana and it's supposed to be like, it says it's a bronzer, but I've seen this going around. I know that um, Kelly Strack and I think also Kathleen Lights uses this as a setting powder and I thought it would be like a good setting powder, but I did swatch it and it looks kind of luminous to me. So I'm kind of nervous to put this under my eyes, especially because they're already too light, but we're just gonna try it. I'm not going anywhere today, so it doesn't even matter. So I'm gonna try it with this. Whoa, this is actually really powdery. Whoa, this is really brightening. Oh my God, okay. There is an obvious sheen on this. I f feel like this might be better to kind of dust all over your face for like a glowy look. But I kind of, I can see why people like this. If you like to have like a luminous under eye, I feel like this is a good in-between powder that might not be like too, too shimmery, but it's still like a setting powder. It says it's a bronzer and it looks like a highlighter, but people use it to set their makeup. I'm so confused. I don't mean to be negative. I'm just trying to be really honest here. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I love all these products because I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but I also want to be honest. So please don't take offense if I don't like the product that um, that you recommended me. This is only a first impression, so like, I'm gonna keep trying these products out. Okay, so for bronzer, you guys are gonna be really, I don't know if you're gonna be surprised or disappointed, but I've never tried the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. The main reason why I never tried it is because at first they were, the, the main one that came out, like the only one, was way too light for me. I was like, I'm not buying that. But I know they came out with more shades. I got the shade Deep Bronzer. It does smell like, kind of smells like sunscreen. No, it smells more like tanning lotion than sunscreen. I like it. But then I don't, but then I keep smelling it. It's like those smells that you're like, it smells weird, but I want to keep smelling it. Let's just try it out. It's a little bit warmer than I thought. Oh. What? This is like a... What? It's going on really nice. It is looking a little bit warmer than I thought it would be, which is fine. I do like a nice warm bronzer. I like it. I just, I, I, it's just not as dark as I, I would like it, but I do like it. I feel like if I'm not as tan, this would work really perfect for me. On the skin, it looks really pretty. It's like I'm literally adding so much of it and it still looks really nice and smooth. So I actually really do like this bronzer, so yay! So for contour, a lot of you guys recommended me the NYX Contour Palette. Um, this was not cheap at all. This is like $25, so I'm just really hoping that it's good. This shade right here, wait. This one. Is there shade names? I think it's called Sculpt. Oh, sh <laughs> that's really pigmented. It's actually kind of nice. I think I obviously put too much on my brush, but it's blending out pretty well. I feel like this would be a really nice bronzer shade. So I will definitely keep playing with this. I do quickly want to go into the banana, banana shade, and I'm just going to kind of carve out, like just lightly carve this out just because I did go a little ham with it. But yeah, so far this looks really nice. It seems like all these powders are very 
pigmented. Like I said, you guys didn't uh, recommend me any blush that I haven't already tried, so I'm gonna go in with a really good one. This is the Essence. Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. So none of you guys told me to try this exact product, but one of you guys said to try something from Lottie London, which I've never used, so I figured um, I would try out their Shimmery Quad. This just looked so good. Like, can we just take a moment to look at these highlighters? They are so pigmented, so bright. Um, they're not like chunky at all and they just look so nice and I've been waiting, waiting to put this on my face. Like always, Wet n Wild Highlight Brush. I'm gonna go in the shade Queen B, which is like the more gold shade. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is really reflective. Wow. Do you guys see that? That looks really nice. I am very impressed. Down the nose. Wow, this is bright af. Wow. Again, this is the Lottie London Shimmer Quad. And, oh, oh, wait. It's the Shimmer Squad. No wonder I like it so much because it reminds me of my own squad. Okay, so like I said, um, there wasn't any lip products that were recommended that I hadn't tried. So I just put on the Larza Cosmetics in Salted Caramel. It's just been my go-to. For setting spray, I do have the Essence Keep It Perfect Setting Spray. Shake the product quickly and spray it at a distance of 15 centimeters for face evenly. So let me go get my ruler so we do it like at the 15 centimeters, you know, Perfectly totally kidding. I'm just being sarcastic. Okay, so let's shake it up and try it Wow, that I wow that spray It's like if you do hold it far away It's like a really big spray and it is a strong spray, but it's like the right amount of strong Okay, my face is covered the setting spray um felt really good the actual spray was really nice um, I don't have any like weird white dots on my face and it felt really hydrating so I'll definitely keep playing with that like I said it is late guys it is uh, 4 o'clock 356 so I'm gonna try to stay awake as late as possible it's probably not gonna go be past like 1130 yeah anyways uh, I'll be back in a couple of hours alrighty guys I am back um it's not that late but I just I really need to go to bed. I have to do some stuff in the morning. Um, it is currently 10.20 p.m. So this was roughly about six and a half um, hour wear test. But to be honest, like, my, my, like, you guys know my skin isn't oily. So it's like, I know if a foundation is going to last on me or not just because I don't get oily anyway. So if it's lasted this long, um, chances are it's going to last a little bit longer and then it starts fading out. But I will keep testing it. Like I said, this whole wear test was a complete like last minute thing. But I do have some thoughts. Um, I am very impressed with this foundation. Like, very. What I did notice is that it didn't make me look dry or flaky. I'm pretty happy with the way my face looks right now. The only thing that I am kind of weirded out about, again, is the Reserve Your Cabana that I put under my eyes because my eyes just look... A a little too textured and it is because that powder is a little bit reflective. I'm gonna keep testing out all these other products with products that I do love so I know how they work with it and like I said I will mention some in my April favorites if they are favorites or if they're misses. So yeah anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys again so much for recommending me products. It was really fun to just try out what you guys love and find some goodies that I might love too. So yeah I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Like always comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next and also let me know if you guys have tried any of these products and like what's your favorite way to use them or if you like them or if you don't like them. And yeah, I really hope you all are having an awesome day or night wherever you are. And I really hope to catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!